So we're at the Matterhorn Bar, and you actually have a great connection with this bar. Yeah, once upon a time, I was lucky enough to work yeah, here at Matterhorn. It's probably like the, the, the pinnacle of uh, cocktails and, and bar in New Zealand. Um, there's been a cafe or a restaurant or a bar on this site continuously since 1963, which by New Zealand standards is a very, very long time. What we're going to make today is a very iconic cocktail, and it's called a falling water. What we're going to start with is a very, very long slice of mm. cucumber. And we're going to use uh, 42 Below Fijoa, which for New Zealanders is a very, very iconic product. It's very unusual if you're not from New Zealand. Just gives it a little bit of sort of refreshing tangy flavour. So 42 Below is a New Zealand vodka. Yeah. So uh, in fact, 42 Below was born right here. So in, on the Wellington waterfront, um, it started just over 10 years ago. And from Wellington, it's grown to encompass all of New Zealand. And now what you'll find 42 Below in top bars all over the world. So it's a great homegrown success story. Started in a garage about a kilometre from here. Would you like to come behind the bar and, uh, and learn how to make one? Absolutely. Very simple, very easy. All right. All right, so this drink's very, very simple. It's just a tall glass or what's called a highball glass. Now we need you to cut a slice of cucumber. All right. All right, so we're going to cut that cucumber on the diagonal. This is the hardest part because it's kind of the secret ingredient in the drink as well. No, it needs to go in the drink. <laughs> all right. This is, uh, my, my own, all right. It's not very long, Jacob. Okay, well, you're going to have to cut it on a different angle. Got to, uh, how far? How far do you want me to go? Yep, perfect. With, wow, that's going to be a thick cucumber. Oh, bam. And, uh, now cut again. Oh, again? Who knew that this could be so complicated? All right, so that goes into our uh, tall glass. Now we're going to fill that drink with ice. All right. All right. Okay, now we're going to put in basically a shot, so 30 mils, uh, roughly a standard drink. I know, okay, well, you know uh, my we, style. we don't like to measure here. Perfect, all right. And well, that's, one um, for good luck, all right. Cool, all right, that's probably a little sturdier than they usually serve at the Matterhorn, but this Sounds is going like to be your first drink, drink for the day. And then this is the uh, the chi, and we just top that drink up. Nice. Cool. All right. And you need to finish that with a straw. Just give it a very kind of casual, but at the same time considered flick with your wrist, just to stir the vodka and the chi together, and get some of those cucumber flavors moving through. All right, that looks perfect. Falling water, ladies and gentlemen. Fantastic. Oh, I showed you how to make a ball. <laughs> That's how it's done. All right, so what's the nightlife like here? Um, well, Wellington's a city where famously the weather can be a little bit uh, temperamental. Uh, and so um, one of the things that that has as a, as a positive side effect is an amazing bar and restaurant scene. I guess a lot of small bars as well by global standards. Yeah. And they, they're staffed by bartenders that are incredibly passionate and have chosen to do this as a, as a craft and a career. But you're right, there's always characters behind the yeah, bar. Yeah, very there's much. always great alcohol behind the bar and there's always good times that yeah. you talk about the next day. Yeah. So. It's a, it's a, Great little scene, so throughout the course of the evening we'll see a lot more of it. Cool, Great. enjoy. I just keep meeting lovely people in Wellington. Jacob was nice enough to show me around to some of the bars and little nooks visitors should know about. We visited the Havana Bar, the Hawthorne Lounge, and Motel Bars. All were very cool and unique. What a great night of cocktails, and I was surprised at the quality of the nightlife here. Such a great underground scene for such a small city.